Hello children, we have learned the multiplication rule and division rule of exponents. So using these rules, we are going to do some problems. We have the question 2 raised to 5 into 2 raised to 3 by 2 raised to 4. All the base are same. So first numerator lulla numbers So we can use multiplication rule there. So x raised to m plus n. So we can write 2 raised to 5 plus 3 divided by 2 raised to 4. Then we can add the so 2 raised to 5 plus 3 is 2 raised to 8 by 2 raised to 4. Now we can use division rule. So which division rule we can use? Two division rules are there. So here power is bigger in the numerator. So we can use the first rule. So 2 raised to 8 minus 4. 2 raised to 8 minus 4 equal to 2 raised to 4. Then we want to simplify this. So 2 into 4 times we want to multiply 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Then what is the answer? 2 into 2 is 4. Next to 2 into 2 is 4. So 4 into 4 is 16. Is it clear? Next problem is 3 raised to 7 by 3 square into 3 raised to 4. So here we will use multiplication rule first. So multiplication rule in the denominator we want to use. So we write 3 raised to 7 there, then use multiplication rule in the denominator. So x raised to m plus 10, that is 3 raised to 2 plus 4, equal to 3 raised to 7 by 3 raised to 6. Now we can use division rule. So which division rule we can use? The power in the numerator is bigger. So we can use the first rule. 3 raised to 7 minus 6 that is equal to 3 raised to 1 so that is equal to 3 itself okay next problem 5 square into 5 raised to 4 by 5 raised to 5 into 5 raised to 4 so here we can see 5 raised to 4 in the numerator and also in the denominator so here itself we can cancel if same numbers are coming Power is correct, aana, same, aana, base is same. Aana. So we can cancel the okay. square into 5 raised to 4 by 5 raised to 5 into 5 raised to 4. Then we can cancel here. Okay, 5 raised to 4 and 5 raised to 4 we can cancel. Then the next number 5 square by 5 raised to 5. So here we can use division rule. So see here, the power in the denominator is bigger. So we want to use the second rule. That is 1 by x raised to n minus m. Here, 5 raised to 5 minus 2. That is equal to 1 by 5 raised to 3. We want to find the value of this. That means we want to expand that 5 cube. So we can write this is equal to 1 by 5 into 5 into 5. 3 times you want to multiply. So that is equal to 1 by 125. Next question 8 square into 8 raised to 7 by 8 raised to 6 into 8 cube. Here we can use multiplication rule in both numerator and denominator together we can do. So 8 raised to plus 7 by 8 raised to 6 plus 3. That is equal to 8 raised to 9 by again we will get 8 raised to 9. Then we got the same number in the numerator and denominator. So this is equal to either the power of same another. So these two numbers are same. So the answer is 1. Next question. 4 cube into 4 raised to 5 by 4 square into 4 raised to 4. Here we can use that multiplication rule together. Numerator and denominator multiplication rule. 
So 4 raised to 3 plus 5 is 8. Denominator 4 raised to 2 plus 4 is 6. So here we can see numerator is bigger. Power in the numerator is bigger. So use the first rule of division. Then we get 4 square. Okay. Next question. 10 raised to 4 into 10 raised to 5 by 10 raised to 6 into 10 raised to 7. We can use that multiplication rule. In the numerator we can see x raised to m plus n. That is 4 plus 5 is 9. Again 10 raised to 6 plus 7 is 30. Same base I have to go easier to say another. Then we can see the power in the denominator is bigger. So use second rule. 10 raised to 13 minus 9 that is equal to 1 by 10 raised to 4. Then 1 by 10 raised to 4, 10 raised to 4 means what? Equal to 1 by after 1, 4 0 should be there. So this is our required answer. Next question. What powers of 1 by 5 do we get on dividing 5 raised to 6 by 5 raised to 10? First we can find what First is 5 we can raised to find 6 by 5 raised to 10. What is 5 raised to 6 Here, by 5 raised to 10? We can use 10. the division rule of the second one because the power in the denominator is bigger. Okay. So that is equal to 1 by 5 raised to 10 minus 6. So this is equal to 1 by 5 raised to 4. So here in the question we want to find the power of 1 by 5. So whole raised to something I tell the alle. 1 by 5 in the power I tell than better. So uh, we can rewrite this 1 as 1 raised to 4, is it? But either 1 by 5 in the whole power and find out the end of it. So 1 in a number 4 in the power I tell you that. That is 1 raised to 4 by 5 raised to 4. Then the nan and the tend numerator and denominator same power one alinam ka outside liki to come to. So here we can take outside this 4. Okay. Now we got the power of 1 by 5, right? What is the power of 1 by 5? So the power of 1 by 5 is 4. Next question. What is the decimal form of the number got on dividing 10 raised to 8 by 10 raised to 12? So we want to divide 10 raised to 8 by 10 raised to 12 and the final answer should be in the decimal form. So let's check what is 10 raised to 8 by 10 raised to 12. Here we want to use the division rule of the second one because power in the denominator is bigger. So 10, 1 by 10 raised to 12 minus 8 that is equal to 1 by 10 raised to 4. So 10 raised to 4 means 10 into 10 into 10 into 10. 4 times we want to multiply. So this is equal to 1 by 10,000. After 1 we want to write 4 zeros. Okay. You know division with 10, 100, 1000 etc. So what we will do? We will write the numerator first and write the decimal places as in the number of zeros there. So Adim numerator lala one erdum. Then one erdi kanya nam kuru place with a point left side la point it allow to place I to loo. Then again three more places we want. So we will add three more zeros. Okay. So put a point there. Then if nothing is there in the left side, we will write it one zero again. Okay. So our answer is point zero 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 one. Next question. What natural number is got by dividing 1 by 2 whole raised to 5 by 1 by 2 whole raised to 8? We can write 1 by 2 whole raised to 5 divided by 1 by 2 whole raised to 8. So this is equal to. What a fraction I do another one. 
നമ്മളിങ്ങനെ ഡിവിഷൻ സൈൻ ഇടുന്നത് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സാധാരണ നമ്മളിതിൻ്റെ ന്യൂമറേറ്റർ ഡിനോമിനേറ്റർ ആയിട്ടാണ് ഡിവിഷൻ വരുമ്പോൾ എഴുതാറുള്ളത് ഇവിടെ ഫ്രാക്ഷൻ ആയതുകൊണ്ട് നമുക്ക് ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു സൈൻ എഴുതിയാൽ നമുക്ക് കൺഫ്യൂഷൻ ഇല്ലാതെ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുള്ളൂ ഇനി എന്താണ് നമ്മളിതിനെ എക്സ്പാൻഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ പോവാണ് ഓക്കെ സോ വൺ ബൈ ടു ഹോൾ റേസ് ടു ഫൈവ് ആണ് സോ ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വൺ റേസ് ടു ഫൈവ് ബൈ ടു റേസ് ടു ഫൈവ് ഡിവൈഡഡ് ബൈ വൺ റേസ് ടു എയ്റ്റ് ബൈ ടു റേസ് ടു എയ്റ്റ് So this is equal to 1 raised to 5 means it is 1 itself by 2 raised to 5 divided by 1 raised to 8 is 1 itself by 2 raised to 8. Okay, so this is equal to when fraction is there after division, how can we do? We will start. convert this into multiplication then write the reciprocal of the next fraction okay so we can write the we can write this fraction itself then change this ee aadhim varuna fraction change cheyanda avashyamilla multiplication kazhinju varuna alling ivide division kazhinju varuna fraction yana change cheyandathu so ഇതിൻ്റെ റെസിപ്രോക്കൽ എന്താണ് വൺ ബൈ ടു റേസ് ടു എയ്റ്റിൻ്റെ റെസിപ്രോക്കൽ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ടു റേസ് ടു എയ്റ്റ് ബൈ വൺ ഓക്കെ സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സോ ഫ്രാക്ഷൻ ഇൻറ്റു ഫ്രാക്ഷൻ എങ്ങനെയാണ് മൾട്ടിപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യാറുള്ളത് യു വിൽ മൾട്ടിപ്ലൈ ന്യൂമറേറ്റർ ഇൻറ്റു ന്യൂമറേറ്റഡ് ബൈ ഡിനോമിനേറ്റർ ഇൻറ്റു ഡിനോമിനേറ്റർ സോ വൺ ഇൻറ്റു ടു റേസ് ടു എയ്റ്റ് ഈസ് ടു റേസ് ടു എയ്റ്റ് ബൈ 2 raised to 5 into 1 is 2 raised to 5. Okay, so 1 on the name, multiply the same number in the same number. So this is equal to, now we can apply division rule. So division rule here, the power is bigger in the numerator. So, so we can use the first rule. 2 raised to 8 minus 5. So this is equal to 2 raised to 5. 3 then this is equal to 2 raised to 3 is 2 into 2 into 2 that is 8 so this is the natural number we got by dividing our last question by what natural number should 0.25 whole raised to 6 b multiplied to get 0.25 whole raised to 4 that means ed natural number aanu 0.25 whole raised to 6 nodu koodi multiply cheyidal 0.25 whole raised to 4 varunathu so a natural number namak ariyilla adagunde we can take it as x x 0.25 whole raised to 6 inde kooda multiply cheyana so x into 0.25 whole raised to 6 equal to what we will get 0.25 whole raised to 4 so how can we find out this x let's look an example or a simple example namku nokka then we can come here okay if we multiply a natural number with 3 we get 6 so we can write it as x into 3 equal to 6 So how can we find out this x? We know 2 into 3 is equal to 6. So how can we find out this 6 by 3? Is it? So x is equal to 6 by 3 that is equal to 2. So how can we find out here? Here we can divide this 0.25 whole raised to 6. So 0.25 whole raised to 4 divided by 0.25 whole raised to 6. So can we use division rule here? Yes, 0.25 base side to varunna number aanu numerator lo denominator lo. So we can use that division rule and we can see the power in the denominator is bigger. So use the division rule of the second one. So this is equal to 
वन बाय पॉइंट टू फाइव होल रेस टू सिक्स माइनस फोर दैट इज इक्वल टू वन बाय पॉइंट टू फाइव होल स्क्वायर देन वी कैन फाइंड वाट इज पॉइंट टू फाइव सपरेट आईटे नमुक पॉइंट टू फाइव एंड कैन रईट इन फ्राक्षन ओके फ्राक्षन एमचू ईसी आई सो पॉइंट टू फाइव हाउ कैन वि रईट इन फ्राक्षन हाउ मेनी डेसीमल प्लेस आर दू प्लेस आर दो इफ वि डिवैड दिस् ट्वेंटी फाइव वित् ए नंबर हाविंग टू सीरो दट ईस हंड्रड्ड we will get 0.25 is it so 25 by 100 tirichu nokkaanengil it is 0.25 so instead of 0.25 we can write 25 by 100 now we can simplify this 25 by 100 so which is common here edho oru number namukku directly multiply cheythu kenjal thanne easy aayittu kittum with 25 we can do or we can do simple aite cheyanengil we can uh, divide this with 5 so 25 by 5 also we want to do 100 by 5 okay so 25 by 5 is 5 divided by 20 again we can see 5 is common in both numerator and denominator so we can cancel cancel cheyanam cutting method use cheyam or इोले नमुक सो फाइव बै फाइव इज ईक्वल टू ट्वेंटी बै फाइव फाइव बै फाइव इज वन ट्वेंटी बै फाइव इज फोर सो पॉइंट टू फाइव इज सें एस वन बै फोर सो इंस्टेड ऑफ पॉइंट टू फाइव हियर वी कैन राइट वन बै फोर ओके सो वन सो अब फ्राक्षन आयो नवे डिवीशन सैन यूस वन डिवैड बै 0.25 whole square just hold the then one divided by instead of 0.25 we can write 0.25 whole square and then one divided by instead of 0.25 we can write 0.25 whole square then one divided by one by four whole square whole square and then one divided by one by four whole square then one divided by one by four whole square then one divided by one by four whole square then one divided by one by four whole square then one divided by one by four whole square then one divided by one by four whole square then one divided by one by four whole square then one divided by one by four whole square then one divided by one by four whole square then one divided by one by four whole square then one divided by one by four whole square then one divided by one by four whole square then one divided by one by four whole square then one divided by one by four whole square then one divided by one by four whole Then what is one square by four square, one by sixteen. Now we can change it into multiplication. Then write the reciprocal of this. So this is equal to one into sixteen by one. That is one into sixteen. Hope this all answers are clear to you.